you know, one of these days, I'm probably going to need a new reference. But when God shows up in my life, it's less cozy, it's less nice, it's less warm and less pleasant than we like to make it sound. It's more like how Miley Cyrus belt. I came in like a wrecking ball because I feel like that's what God does to my life when God shows up. Things don't get tidier and cleaner. Things get messier and a bit more complicated and a bit more confusing. God showing up in my life more often than not feels like an intrusion. And yes, I say intrusion because that's what you call it when someone shows up in your life unexpected, unannounced, and, and unplanned. I mean, think about it. God shows up in Abraham's life and God tells Abraham to leave his family, to leave his sister, to leave his family business and, and go to a new land at the age of 75. And in this journey to the new land that Abraham has no idea about, at 97, God tells Abraham to be circumcised and then go and circumcise all the males that are in his household. Could you imagine that conversation? Like, hey, what God, God wanted you to do what, Abraham? You sure he didn't mean just you? He meant all of us? And then, and then God shows up and says, hey, Abraham, remember that son that I promised you and it took forever, but you finally got that son? Well, I want you to sacrifice him for me. God showed up and told Moses to go back to the place that he was running away from, the site of the place where he committed murder. And then God shows up in Mary's life and says, Hey, Mary, uh, by the way, you're going to be pregnant without having any relationship with anyone, particularly to the man that you are betrothed to. And yeah, I mean, that's almost like some Mori Povich stuff. And do you know how they all responded when God showed up in their lives unexpected, unannounced, unplanned? Hineni, which is Hebrew for here I am. But Hineni, here I am, means more than just here I am. It's more than just being present. It's more than just being here. Because a lot of times we are here, but we're not here, right? Like we're physically here and our, our minds are over there thinking about crazy stuff like did I leave the light on or how come phonetic isn't spelled the way that it sounds or why does fat chance and slim chance mean the same thing and what happens when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question and what happens when the phrase hineni, here I am in Hebrew is unrestrained consent. It's showing up and, and willing to do whatever is asked of you. It's being wholly and completely and fully available to God. When we say Hineni, we don't barter, we don't complain, we don't try to resist, we don't try to control the situation, we don't try to ignore, we don't try to delay, we don't try to postpone, we don't try to leverage this idea or plan for our own benefit, we don't censor, we don't blame, we don't lie, we just say here I am, fully trusting that God is with us and for us as we move forward, knowing that life, knowing that we may never be the same afterwards. And it's the people that say Hineni to God, here I am, with unrestrained consent, with no reservations, fully, wholly, and completely offering their lives to God and God's plan and God's purpose that end up making a difference in the lives of others and end up making a difference in this world. So may you have the courage to say to God, Hineni, say to God, here I am, and let's see what happens. And like, why do we park in driveways and drive on parkways? And then why is it that when you're driving and looking for an address, looking for a place, that you turn down the, the radio? And why is it so hard to remember how to spell the word mnemonic? And why is it whether you sit up or sit down, it means the same damn thing? And, and, and why do kamikaze pilots wear helmets? And if you had a chance to choke a Smurf, what color would the Smurf turn when it's choking? And if you were to throw a cat out of your car window, not that you should, but if you ever were to throw a cat out of your car window, would it become kitty litter? Is there another word for thesaurus? Or, or what's another word for a synonym? And why does the word monosyllabic have five syllables? I can barely say the word monosyllabic. Monosyllabic. Yeah, who cares?